So, we're at Columbia University, one of the first places that I visited when I was, uh, uh, back in high school? No. Yeah. Back in high school, I actually went to this conference that the kids are going to. It's the uh, Columbia Scholastic Press Association Conference, which uh, in the lobby, of course, you can see a lot of uh, yearbook and newspaper printers, etc. The big hot thing is, how do you print a yearbook in this day and age by being green and still being green? And uh, the answer seems to be, print it with as much as 60% post-consumer and 80% recycled. So uh, the 80-60 rule is about as best as you can get. Um, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, the kids are doing uh, workshops, learning all about journalism, which uh, is an interesting field uh, recently. Uh, you know, big, very noted and well-respected newspaper, newspapers and magazines has had their share of gaffes of uh, ethics violations and... Uh, uh, you know, their words not being their words, etc. So, uh, it's pretty interesting. The other thing that's interesting is all of these students that you see here, both students from the campus itself, or these high schoolers, all want to get in some form of journalism, which, let's face it, is uh, slowly, in a sense, becoming a dinosaur, if you will. Um, the recent issue that's happening is that the Seattle Post, a newspaper in Seattle, major newspaper, has actually stopped its uh, print edition, is going completely online, just as I am. I mean, in a sense that even though uh, not too many people watch what I watch, the power of this little flip video is, you know, if you were to zoom this in 50 years ago, it would be epic in the fact that I can get my word out, my opinions out, my stories out to people from all around the globe. Uh, so technology is definitely pushing the boundaries of what can exist and what is having problems existing. So that's all from Columbia University in New York City. I'm Cesar Becerra signing off.